Hi, we're here today in Carlo in the middle of February. We're in a crop of hybrid barley and we're going to look at what the crop needs over the next six weeks in terms of its fertiliser inputs. I'm joined today by Dr. Richie Hackett of Chagask. Richie, you're very welcome. What would you say to growers today, Richie, middle of February for their inputs? Well, in terms of planning a fertiliser programme, I suppose the first step is to look up your soil test results and that will guide your P and K inputs. Yeah. The farmer here has told us that his potassium is an index 2 and his phosphorus is an index 3, so he's well set up to work out his P and K inputs. So Richie, after assessing the lime, the potassium and the phosphorus, what should a farmer do to decide how to put on the fertiliser? I think the next step is to go and assess the crop, assess the plant counts, uh, tiller counts and, and most importantly the growth stage of the crop. Okay, and across the country there will always be varying um, crops, there will be some sown late, some sown early, how do you overcome that? Well the, the, the growth stage of the crop will, will be related to how early or late it was sown, so if okay. you assess your growth stage that will give you a good idea of where you are. And in terms of growth stage Richie, what growth stage would you advise people for winter barley to put on the first fertiliser? Typically you'll, you'll be applying when the crop is at growth stage 23, 24, 25, so now it's tr somewhere between 3 and 5 tillers. Very quickly Richie, just lifting up this plant, how do we assess its growth stage? In terms of tillers, we want to count the number of tillers and we've obviously got to take into account that when we're counting tillers we don't count the main stem as one of those. Richie, how does a farmer decide how much nitrogen to put on a crop? Well Tim, he needs two bits of information to work that out. He needs to know his N index, which is based on the previous crop that was in the field, and he needs to know his historic yields over the last three years which will allow him to work out any additional allowances he can he can use. Okay so take a typical winter barley crop, a hybrid barley crop yielding 10 tonnes to the hectare for the last number of years and also in continuous cereal situation. A crop like that would be allowed 210 kilos per hectare which would be his total allowance for nitrogen assuming he hasn't applied any organic manures to that crop previously. In terms of sulphur Richie, how much would a crop of hybrid winter barley require and what way would you apply it? We would recommend 15 kilos per hectare of sulphur for winter barley yeah. and we would suggest either in either the first split or the second split of nitrogen. So to summarise then Richie, for a farmer to get their most out of fertiliser investment onto hybrid winter barley, previous cropping history is important, soil tests are important, assessing the crop growth stages correctly and all this for maximising their split strategy. Yeah Tim, I think that's a very uh, accurate summary, particularly in relation to using growth stage to time the splits properly. Okay, thanks very much for your time, Richie. You're very welcome, Tim.